Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Kaiben, Uchukpun, Miyadamang, Achiwamai Kirawahi, Achiwamai Kirawahi. Mr. Speaker, Tiki Kunaikian Kawanda, I bring greetings to this National Assembly from the people of the geographic region that I represent, Upper Takatu, Upper Esequibo, Region 9. Mr. Speaker, I wish to join my colleagues on this side of the House in asking the National Assembly to approve the budget 2021 that was eloquently presented by the Minister responsible for Finance, the Honorable Dr. Ashni Singh. Tons of thank you are also in order for the staff of the Ministry of Finance who had worked assiduously to have this budget ready. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, permit me to rebut to some utterances made by the opposition members earlier. To the Honorable Kemraj Ramjatan, who one seemingly not know and is very confused about taxes and had forgotten, unfortunately, that in 1992, the People's Progressive Party civic government inherited debts, which took 152% of revenues to service the country versus 5% when the PPPC left office in 2015. And this clearly shows, Mr. Speaker, that the people of Guyana in 2020, over 50% of the electorate voted in favor of the PPP because, because, Mr. Speaker, they have full confidence in the PPPC because the PPPC government is the only government can manage this country's economy. Mr. Speaker, the Honorable Don Hastings. Again, Mr. Speaker, the Honorable Member seems to be all confused and jump from one limb to the other limb confusingly. Forgot that, the honor, that herself, uh, Mr. Speaker, served as a government minister and did not utter a word to her government when the coalition government has passed the Amerindian people. Mr. Speaker, serving as minister responsible for water in the Ministry of Communities under the coalition's tenure, did absolutely nothing for the Amerindian communities in, in terms of water supply. Served as public affairs minister and sat in the National Assembly to hear coalition members calling the Amerindians avaricious and sat quietly and come to this house with the audacity of telling the PPPC that all was well with the coalition government. Mr. Speaker, shame and total nonsense coming from the coalition opposition. Mr. Speaker, the PPPC also inherited a total billion loan for Gayasuko. The opposition members should tell this house what had happened, but the good news is that the PPPC government is now in office and we will fix Gaisuko. We will fix Gaisuko, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the budget team, a team that fits, a team that is relevant at this time, the budget team, Mr. Speaker, a path to recovery, economic, 
Mr. Speaker, the budget team alone speaks for itself, Mr. Speaker. A budget that will transform the lives of the Guyanese people. Mr. Speaker, a budget that is inclusive. A budget that is not a pink slip budget, Mr. Speaker, but what one that will take the Guyanese people to prosperity, including you, Honorable Mahipol. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, this budget will strengthen the Guyanese people's compact and will also have, Guyanese people will also have equal opportunities. This budget caters for everything. And Mr. Speaker, the opposition members have said that the budget doesn't have anything in it, but they must check the budget book that under Parliament office, your salary and allowances are taken care of there. To the public servants, don't let the coalition agents and opposition members fool you because they do not know. They, don't, they, don't, they, they, they do not know what is in the budget for you. But we have the answer from the People's Progressive Party Civic because check on the Ministry of Finance. Check there on the line item 6141. Salaries and wages revised. 10 billion and 94 million for the public servants. To all the public servants, the People's Progressive Party has budgeted for you and you will receive your salary increase in 2021. Mr. Speaker, in 2015, Mr. Speaker, in 2015, the coalition parties promised the Guyanese people, the public servants, a 20% increase. And in the 100 days, failed the public servants. This is your track record. You lied to being dishonest to the public servants. But we, on this side of the house, will take care, take care of all public servants across Guyana. Mr. Mr. Speaker, the dismal track record of the coalition party has got them on the other side of the house. Mr. Speaker, they come to this house and proclaim everything they did well. But what you did not did, did well with was you squandered the country's economy. That's what you did. Extravagance. Extravagance was paramount in the coalition government. Check your budget. Where you budgeted hefty sums for food, transportation, flying over Guyana. You were living the good life while the Guyanese, the normal Guyanese people suffered and gave you what you deserve at the 2020 polls. Mr. Speaker, budget 2021 is the answer for Guyana. The Amerindian people, Mr. Speaker, will benefit from budget 2021 in many ways. Already, Mr. Speaker, they, uh, they, there are qualitative changes across the hinterland regions. Amerindian and hinterland residents already receive their $20,000 household cash grant, an, in, an initiative being now criticized by the coalition opposition. But what did they give the Amerindian and hinterland residents during their tenure? Your track record is delivering boats to your supporters, shoes that grows, boots that grows, and all the five Bs. But it was only to your supporters. 
And yet you went into the Amerindian communities and preached social cohesion. And right in Parliament, you are not practicing what you're preaching. You are not practicing what you're preaching, opposition members. You are dividing the people when you are preaching social cohesion. Mr. Speaker, the CSO program is well and alive in the Amerindian communities at this time. And the Honorable Member Don Hastings come to this house and say that the Hayes program was a better program, but failed to tell this house that the Hayes program was a blatant failure with the non-accountability of $860 million. Check the audit report of 2017. When you come to this house, uh, Mr. Speaker, you come with facts. You come with facts and not to mislead people. You bear the facts. The Hayes program was a dismal failure, beginning with the head. Although $1, million, $1 billion was budgeted annually for that program, and yet it limped. The Honorable Member claimed that the youth was trained in whatever field. But when we visited the Amerindian communities, it was far from reality, far from what his program was intended to be. Mr. Mr. Speaker, and here comes the CSO program that you disbanded. You fired 172 Amerindian youths, but all are on board now. Honorable Your supporters. That you could include me. <laughs> so say honorable members over there. Okay, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. 1,972 Amerindian youth. The opposition in government at that time had dismissed total disregard for the Amerindian youth. But they are all back and are employed under the CSO program. Mr. Speaker, the $15,000 because we care cash grant was what the coalition government scrapped. Scrapped. Scrapped the Because We Care cash grant. Denying the nation's children across the 83,000 square miles of Guyana. But what? The PPPC government will bring back the Because We Care cash grant in 2021, and every school child in the public school will be receiving $15,000. This is what $15,000 each child will receive. What did you give them? What did you give them? You disbanded the program. You scrapped the program. That is your track record for the children of this country. Our future of this country deserve something, but you deny them. The PPP will deliver on its promise and pay every school child $15,000. Mr. Speaker, the Amerindian land titling, the Amerindian land titling, Mr. Speaker, was of no interest to the coalition government. They scrapped the land titling project. Scrapped it. Although they promised the Amerindian communities in 2015 that land titling is paramount for their government. But absolutely did nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, Mr. Sled. Uh, did nothing. Did nothing. In 23 years, Mr. Speaker, Amerindians, Amerindians alone, Amerindians alone, Mr. Speaker, gained 14.6. 14.6 of Guyana's landmass. That's it. That is our track record. That is our track record. How much you give them? How much you give them? When you come to this house, come with facts. Come with facts. The PNC had 33 years, 28 plus 5. And what did you do? What did you do? This my track record. That is your that is your legend. 
That is your legend. Mr. Speaker, the land titling program was of no interest. Was of no interest to this coalition government. But we, Mr. Speaker, on this side of the house, the PPPC government, through its budget, caters for $630 million. And we will get off the Amerindian land titling program. And Amerindian villages will receive their titles absolute and forever. Honorable Mr. Member, Speaker, and you're entitled to a five minutes extension, but someone has to ask for it. Mr. Speaker, I ask for five minutes to conclude for my honorable member. I wish I could give him more, but I'm restricted by the time factor. So five minutes, comrade. Mr. Thank you, honorable minister and honorable uh, MP. Again, remember you speak to the speaker. So when you say you and your, I get a little bit agitated. I'm involved in all these things you're alle alleging. So... Continue, Honorable Member. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the COVID-19 Village Cash Grant was disbursed already to all the Amerindian communities across Guyana. 220 Amerindian communities benefited from the COVID-19 Village Cash Grant. A timely intervention by the People's Progressive Party Civic Government. Village, village, the Village Council, the villages is now is now enjoying this intervention, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, stimulating, stimulating the village economy and creating jobs, Mr. Speaker, for our people in the Amerindian communities. Mr. Speaker, I can go on and on to say what we did, what the People's Progressive Party Civic did for the Amerindian people and what the coalition government failed to do. But Mr. Speaker, as I, in my opening remarks, Mr. Speaker, the people of Guyana know, the people of Guyana know where they were and where they are. Mr. Speaker, as I said before, 50% of Guyana's electorate voted for the PPPC because they trusted the PPPC government. And based on its track record, Mr. Speaker, we, the People's Progressive Party Civic, is able and capable of moving Guyana forward. Mr. Speaker, I ask that this honorable house support this budget, a budget that you will benefit from opposition members you will benefit from this budget your supporters will benefit from this budget although it's not the tax is the taxpayers money but at the end of the day it's the government who will control the taxpayers money and ensure that you benefit and your supporters benefit your Mr. Speaker, this budget must be commended in its form because it will transform the lives of the Guyanese people. It will transform the country's economy. And Mr. Speaker, I would like to ask the honorable members, do not be confused. You are confused. You are confused with the figures. You are confused with the figures. Because you know what? You don't know much. Sorry, Mr. Speaker. The honorable members are poor at math, are poor at English, and they're poor to comprehend what the budget is. Mr. Speaker, their intention, the, the coalition opposition members are here with the intention to score poor, poor uh, political mileage here, using the opportunity in the National Assembly. Mr. Speaker, we come here with a plan, and we will deliver and execute the plan for the people of Guyana. Mr. Speaker, I ask that this budget be commended, and I put it now to the House 
to be adopted by all, by the National Assembly. With this, Mr. Speaker, I thank you very much.